Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. We are here at Universal Studios for the last night of Halloween Horror Nights. They uh, opened the last few nights up to pass holders and we haven't had a chance to go. Um, and I wanted to go with Gwen. Um, let's see here, get scared. So, come I along. Can't, I can't talk because Brennan lost the microphone. <laughs> yes. But I'm getting another one. I'm going to either, I put in a request, I lost it at Disney, I put in a request to, to find it. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Um, and actually we can report back to see how well that lost and found system works yeah, at Disney. But he lost and, it at a restaurant, I think you had it in a napkin. And... Well, we'll see. But I like but, the store that we're looking for. Yeah, we're, we're looking at the new Wicked store that hasn't opened yet. But, uh... We're here at Halloween Horror Nights. Gwen's going to be walking through some scare zones maybe, but we're really here to see the, the show. We hear the show is really good, um, and we want to see that. I know. Well, I run back and forth to the car a couple times. So come along, and uh, let's, let's get the crap scared out of us. And it's my already. Not that we're really here for the food, but we're, uh, <laughs> of course, we gotta have the food. Forbidden falafel. He's melting, he's melting. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So we got the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. He's mailed it. It's the s'mores. We also got soda. We need a soda. What's your thoughts? It's really good. It is. <laughs> no. She got marshmallow in her hair. She got stay puffed. So you really like it? Yeah, it's really good. Gwen and I are, are in kind of a hovering, waiting pattern. So how Halloween Horror Nights work, because this is actually only our second time we've done this the park closes at five they start trying to get all the day guests out between five and like quarter to six and then at six o'clock halloween horror nights officially begins but they have these holding zones throughout the park we are currently in one of them where they had a couple food booths so we got a soda and the stay puff marshmallow man that was really good. yeah that was good not as good as ganachery Really? Oh, oh. And this is horrible because I know so many people bash on Hershey's chocolate. You prefer Hershey's? Yeah. Um, I, that's what I grew up on. That's yep. what I like. And that was a Hershey bar. Yeah. To me, that's a s'more. That's a s'more. You're right. I mean, yes. Don't get me wrong. The ganacheries are good, too. But I don't know. And that didn't even have a top graham cracker. But I like that. There was a part of that that was melted that was almost like a whipped. Yeah. Did you get like that? Yeah. The marsh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It like, was what the marshmallow was made out of. Yeah. It was. It was good. That's one of good ones. Um. But we are in a holding area, so you scan in. You know, we we get tickets for Halloween Horror Nights on our pass, one ticket per person. You scan in and you go into these holding zones, and the holding zones are throughout the park about five altogether 
Um, we're not doing the houses. Which that's what they seem to be connected with. Yes. Yes. So each holding zone gets you to like three different houses um, or something like that. It gets you into some of the houses. But we're really interested in just walking around doing the scare zones. And, uh, no, no. <laughs> we're really, inter uh, really interested in just going to that show. Yeah, but doing we, the show. We'll have to walk through scare I, I don't know. I'm a little nervous this year. Last year I did fine, and I was like, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. But I also had watched videos before, so I kind of knew what to expect. And it, we were probably leaving. It was dark for maybe a half hour before we left. Yeah. It's, like, it's gonna be dark. Yeah, because daylight savings was That's this fine. morning. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be darker so, earlier. That's what has me a little nervous because I watch no real video. I mean, we had videos on, but like, I guess Tim and Jen would have been the only one. And I, I, I hate to say this, but like sometimes I kind of zone out on the way it's on anymore because it's not. That's something you're really interested in. in. Yeah, and sometimes just watching them in that doing what they were doing, and they were doing that. Wasn't it the VIP? I don't know. They were the uh, R.I.P. Yeah. The R.I.P. So tour. Little, I don't know. It just felt different, and I kind of wasn't really paying attention. We watch it out on the boat now, mostly. But he can't come here, so he did go to the one out in um, Hollywood. Hollywood. But again, I, I think I just—it's not something I was really interested in. So. And now and I I'm sure it's, a, it's different. It's different. Sorry to pay attention. <laughs>
What? He said that it's an older pin. We got the the goblin pie. Gwen's gonna give it a try. Oh, the hair. Fun like I the hair. It's really good. So it's an apple pie, cinnamon sugar with a raspberry drizzle. Bloody raspberry drizzle, that is. We just finished the uh, nocturnal nocturnal circus yeah. act. So what? What's your thoughts? We haven't talked about it yet. So what's your thoughts? It was good. Um, it was, it was good. I don't know how to explain it. So there was action everywhere. There was yeah, fire. There, there was fire. The music was just pounding the way it's like, yeah, like Brian a concert. Was, like, he was yeah, well, well, yeah, because uh, they were playing some songs I like. But um, so the cast members, so we all, they got us all into the stadium like thing. They, <laughs> totally <left me> out. <laughs> we, we all got into the stadium like, uh, you know, thing. And uh, before the show actually started, so they, the cast members pumped you up. Like they were playing this one song, um, Black Parade. Um, and the cast members were all down in the front. Sorry, I had to scratch. Uh, the cast members were all down in the front, just like pumping up the crowd. Like this one guy with, had long hair and he's just like twirling his hair around and and it just was like a, electric, you know. It's They were just pumping up the crowd. Music was just crazy loud like my ears are probably gonna be ringing all night from it it's like going to a concert, concert. and um and then once the show started it just there was activity everywhere on the stage there was people on the floor that were you know coming out from the sides uh the performers it's just everywhere you looked there was just something going on even up top they had like second story kind of like um balcony areas uh scaffolding that had the top and there was people up there um fire they were fire twirlers there was there was fire always yeah That's there nice. was always fire on the stage and the music just the whole time is just pounding and it's just like non-stop there was never as they cleaned up one act the lights would kind of dim in that section of the stage and then they would have the dancer or dancers out in front of the audience. I mean, like up into <clears throat> up into the seats, and it, it just was constant. It was like it was constant. It was like your pulse was racing the whole time because it was just constant everywhere you looked. <laughs> it, was you look. it, it was good. It was good. I re I really enjoyed it. it I really enjoyed it. It was very yeah. entertaining. And and the crowd got into it. They were playing popular songs. Um, and, and it was just like the the bass. It, it was pretty intense. I would definitely I would see that again. I I, I actually could sit there, not in line because staying in line kind of stunk a little bit. But we saw the first show of the night, which I'm glad we did, because. The music's so loud. If you were walking by, you could you would be able to hear the performance going on, and it was it was a better experience for me, not knowing the music that they were going to be playing. I heard the people next to us say that this has been the same show for years. Oh, right? Yeah. So. Oh well, I'm glad I, I caught yeah. it to um, tonight. Tonight's the last day of Halloween Horror Nights, and uh, that was great. I mean, that was. I, I, I could go home. I, I'm, I'm good. Okay.
Because it can see better in the dark.
Good one, dude. Good one. <laughs> But I'm trying to film you going through the scare zone. And then that leaves me vulnerable to I get scared more than you do because you're paying attention and I'm trying to pay attention to you. He pushes me up. Yep. But he did get scared. He got, yeah, I he got, got scared quite a few times. Yeah. So we had a lot of fun. I enjoyed the show. Um, Universal. I like it more and more every time I come. I wish we could come more often. But uh, thanks so yeah, much for I, fun. I just wanted to say, I swear, last time we were here, like now the rides were open because we were going to do that with Richie, and that's not what happened. Because, but maybe I made that all up. Because uh, some of the rides some are closed. Rides. Some of the rides are open. Some. But and I was kind of chilly now. I'm like, yeah, now it's hot. It's funny. Well, thanks. Yeah, I think we did most of right. We did most of the scare zones. Yeah. Well, we did. Uh, we did four. Four. So I don't know but how many there like are. Because we, we were all the way at the back for that show. So I feel like we, because we went yeah. that way. Did we? Yeah. So going? maybe there's one. There's well, um the purge. Up. Over by San Francisco. Uh, we didn't go through there. No. Nah. So then we we just missed one? Yeah, I think so. Alright, do we go back in to do it? No, we saw the Pundin's off tomorrow. But we have to get up to take yeah, Richie to Richie's school. Yeah, Richie's cool. And so. then we're meeting my brother's family again. So, so thanks so much for watching. Please like, like and subscribe. And we'll see, see you in the next one. one. Bye.